morning. It's time for our one hour Pilates class. So go ahead and join me on your knees and we'll start coming into our deep Pilates breath. We're gonna inhale through the nose and exhale through a relaxed open mouth. Let's do that four more times. Deep inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more deep inhale and relaxed exhale. Keeping that breath going, take some concentration into your lower abs and see if you can press that belly button into your spine just a little bit more so those abs turn on. And as we breathe, trying to keep those abs contracted in while we breathe through our rib cage. Good, inhale, lift those arms to the sky. And as you exhale, drop one arm down and take a nice stretch through your side body, bending out the waist. Keeping a nice long neck by pressing those shoulders down the back. And inhale, back up, both arms lift. And then exhale, stretch over to the other side. Reach those fingers away from the body. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. As you exhale, pressing that belly button into the spine. Inhale up. And then exhale to the other side. Good, dropping that arm down in front of us, we're gonna stretch through our spine, rolling around and rotating to the other side and to that side. Inhale here, and then exhale, curving it forward, contract that belly, feeling a C curve through the back. Inhale, open the chest, and then exhale, curving through the spine. And inhale, open. Do that one more time. Inhale. As you curve that back, you can really feel those lats pressing and scooping. Inhale and exhale. Good. Lifting back up. And then we're going to just do some more breathing here, coming into a straight spine on our inhale. And as we exhale, pressing the belly button back, and feeling that C curve. And again, inhale, lift the chest and long neck. Exhale, scoop it in. And inhale, lift. And exhale, scoop. And one more, inhale. And exhale. Good, rolling into hands and knees, placing those hands right under the shoulders. Inhale, one arm towards the sky as you open that body, feeling a nice twist in the spine. And then as you exhale, lacing it underneath, float it, so don't let it touch the floor. And then inhale, lift. And again, lacing it through, float it along the ground. And inhale, lift. And then exhale, circle that hand forward and down. Inhale. And exhale, just finding some spinal mobility here. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And then exhale, circle. You're going to tuck those toes and lift the knees slightly off the ground. Coming into our core here a little bit. Just stabilizing our center. Nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. And then just tapping one knee on the floor and then lift it up and switch to the other side. Up and tap. Breathing nice and deep. Keep the belly scooping in. 
One knee at a time. A slight twist in the hips. One more. Four, three, and two, and one. Good lower group. Knees down. And then dropping those elbows back like we're doing a tricep push-up on our knees right here. Hands all, elbows all the way down to the mat and then lifting up. And again, drop that down and lift in now. And again, drop it down and lift up. Keep that belly scooping in and up and a little faster and down and up. Down and up, down and up, down and up. Four more. Four to some easy work into our shoulders. Three and two and one. Good. Now bend those elbows about halfway down here and then rock those shoulders forward. Rock them back and forward and back. And forward and back. Scoop that belly in. Forward and back. And forward and back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Hold on the exhale. Right where it's most difficult. And breathe. Squeeze your elbows in towards your rib cage. Good. Inhale, lift. And then as you exhale, arch that back. And then pressing your spine towards the ceiling. Good. Inhale, lift that chest. And then exhale, curving the back. Good. Hold that contraction again. You can really feel the belly button pressing in towards the spine, those low abs turned on. And then coming back into our neutral spine here, coming back into those elbow drops. So we go down and up and down and up. Keep a nice broad chest down and up and down and up a little faster. Four, three, two, and one. We go halfway down. Hold it there. Scoot the belly in and then rock the shoulders forward and back. And forward and back. Try to keep the elbows pointing behind you. And back. Forward and back. And forward, feeling those triceps and those shoulders. Forward and back. Forward and back. And then we'll hold this one, hold it there. And breathe in and out. In and out. Good. And press those arms straight. Good. Let's come into. A closed leg child's pose, so glue those knees together and give those arms and a break by resting them down by your side. And breathe deeply. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath in. And out. Keep those hands forward. Come back up and then press into plank pose. Breathing here. So squeeze the glutes. Engage those abs. And press the ground away by lifting your upper back towards the ceiling. Good. And then gently bend those knees so that they hover above the floor and then rocking the shoulders. Forwards and back. Two. Three. Try to keep those knees down low. Four. And five. Six. And seven. 
and a good hold it right in the center with those fat legs. Nice deep breaths. One more breath, and then lower those knees down. Good, take a break with the cat cow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, contract. Hold that contraction as you take one more breath. Finding that neutral spine, and again, taking the feet back to plank pose. Hold it here. One more breath, and then rocking those shoulders forward and back. Two and three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and hold. One more deep breath. those knees to the floor and shift over onto your hips. I mean, yeah. To sitting. So our center should be nice and warmed up there. So coming into some rollbacks. Inhale, lift those arms. Exhale, curving the spine. Inhale here. And then exhale, rolling back. Low and control. Feeling those scooped abs. Control your descent to the floor. Inhale as the arms rise above the head and we exhale as we peel back up. Inhale, reach. Feel that opposite pull between fingers and belly button. Also getting a nice stretch to our spine. Inhale. And then exhale, roll it back. Inhale as the arms reach. And exhale as we peel off the floor, slow and controlled. Into that spinal stretch. Opposite position, pull. Inhale. And exhale down. One vertebrae at a time. Exhale, lifting off the mat. Good. This time, sustain that length out of your waist as you reach over those feet as far as you can go, feeling more of a stretch behind your legs now. As you exhale, let those arms drop. Hanging the head over. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, rolling up through the spine. Inhale, lift the arms. And then exhale, point the feet and coming back into that spinal stretch. Inhale here. Then exhale, going about halfway down. Good. And then we're going to twist bow and arrow arms. And back. Pull. And back. Same arm. Pull. And back to center. And pull. And then onto the other side. So when you pull that elbow, see if you can look all the way back. Pull. And center. And pull and center. Pull and center. Back to the first side, unrolling the arm all the way and in. And stretch and in. Keep those lats pressing in. Try not to let the belly bulge out. That's always the challenge. Other side. And then stretch and in. And bend. And in, two more, and stretch, and in, and our last one. Good, inhale here. Exhale, control your descent to the floor. 
Inhale, let those arms reach. And then exhale, taking hands up, legs to tabletop, and just gently touch those knees there. So we're going to open out and tap our toes as also our arms open up. So before we do that, take a moment to imprint your lower back down to the floor. Press the belly button into your mat. Inhale, arms and legs open up. And then exhale, bring them back where we were. Good, and again, inhale. And exhale. Never letting our back leave the floor, inhale. And exhale. And open. And close. Again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, two more, out, and in, open, and then gently touch those knees, good, stretch it out, let everything lay down on the mat, inhale, stretch those fingers away from you, exhale, peel back up. Inhale, reach with that leg from the waist. And then exhale, let it relax down. Feet are still stretched. One more breath here. And then inhale as you roll up to your flat back. Lift those arms to the sky and then coming into that spinal stretch. Inhale, exhale, rolling back again about halfway. Good, and then twisting to one side. Good, hold it here, just find a little bit more of a twist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Good. Back to the front, but flex those feet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight. To the center. Inhale. And exhale, rolling down. Inhaling those arms and then taking legs to tabletop and then touching those hands to the knees. We're doing the exact same thing, so infant that spine. And then opening up and then taking it back. Inhale out and then exhale. I mean, in, sorry. Inhale and exhale. So when you lift your arms up above your head, Try to keep those ribs knitted together, using our abs as much as possible. Six. And seven. And eight. And then stretching everything out. Good, inhale. Exhale, peel up. Take that long neck. Stretch it over the legs, out of the waist. And then exhale, relax it down. Maybe finding every time that we do this, we find some more length and easing in the back of the leg. One more breath. And exhale. Good. Rolling up. And then lifting those arms up. And then exhale into that opposite pulling belly button away from the fingers and toes. Inhale here. And then exhale, pull it back. Good. Bring one arm to the sky. And then twist over to the side and back. Bring it up and twist over to that side. Three, 
and four. Four more. Five. And six. And seven. And eight. Going the other direction. Four. One. And two. Pull that belly button in. Three. And four. Four more. Five. And six. And seven. And eight. Inhale and exhale, rolling back. Inhale, reaching those arms. And again, exhale, fingertips touching the knees here. And then we're going to come into our legs opening out straight this time. So glue that low back to the floor, leaving it there while we go through this exercise. So opening arms and legs up, both are straight. And then exhale, bring it back in. And again, inhale, open. And then exhale up. So only let those straight legs lower down as far as you can do that with keeping your lower back glued to the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Four more. Out. And together. And out. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good stretch everything out. All the way to the ground. Inhale, reach those fingers away. Exhale, peel up. Reach out of that waist. Again, stretching over the leg. Let the hands relax down. Inhale here. Exhale, roll it up. Lift those arms to the sky. Exhale, curve in the back. Inhale. And then exhale, rolling back halfway. Good. This time, twisting, bringing both arms up. And then back to the center. Twist and open. And down. And up. And down. Up. And down. Four or more. Five. And six. And inhale. Exhale. And eight. To the other side. Arms up. And down. Two. And three. And four. Five. Pay some attention to those low abs. Six. Try to keep them rested. And eight. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, rolling it down. Let those arms reach above the head. And then coming into our second set with legs stretching out nice and straight. So at the end of our eighth one, we're going to hold it there. So be ready for that. Imprint that spine before we start. Here we go. Inhale out. And then exhale up. Inhale. And exhale. And let those ribs flare open. Inhale. And exhale. Trying to press our belly button into the mat. And in. And out. And four more. Inhale. And exhale. Press that back down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, we'll hold it here. Just hold and breathe. Last deep breath in, exhale, lower. Good, inhale, 
We're not going to roll up. We're going to take our legs up to the sky and come straight into some leg lifts and lowers. Coming more into those low abs. Take those hands behind the head, keeping the elbows open. So inhale, legs down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Again, down. Two, three, four, and lift. Two, three, four, down, keeping that back imprint into the floor. And then trying to start your exhale with belly button more into spine. Down and up. You can stay here laying down or lift your head and down. But keep those elbows nice and open. And up. And down. And up. That rib to hip connection. Down. And up. Our last one. Down. And lift. Good. Let those knees drop into the chest. Relax down. Maybe rock the knees side to side or up and down. One more deep breath. Good. And now we're going to come into scissors. So grabbing behind one leg, lifting head and chest off the floor. We pull it in. Exhale, exhale. Inhale as we switch. Exhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, exhale. Inhale. Keep it going. Try to flatten that tummy to the ground. Eight more. Eight. And seven. Six. And five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Legs to the sky. Right knee into the chest and left leg out. Taking those hands out to one side with that bent leg and then lifting our bottom leg up and down. Sorry, that was a little unclear. Up and down. Four and five and six, seven and eight. Switch sides. And one. And two, and three, four. Don't forget about your imprinted spine. And six, and seven, and eight. Good, switch sides. And then take that top arm up above the ear. And one, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Find your twist with both hands first, and then lift that top arm up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Twisting over to that side, lifting both arms up. One, two, three, four, Five, breathing, six, seven, eight. Twist first, imprint that spine, open those arms, make sure the back bone stays down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And rest. Maybe again, rock those knees side to side. Okay, so we're just going to roll over onto our stomach. And then just come gently up onto your elbows. 
So that chest is lifted. We're stretching out the tummy here, engaging those glutes. So while we're here in this extended position, making sure that our abs are still turned on, still thinking of the belly button pressing in towards the side. Good, and then we're just gonna bend one leg in and go in, in, and then stretch it out. Other side, exhale, exhale, and stretch it out. And again, exhale, exhale, and inhale. Exhale, exhale, and inhale. So while we're bending that leg in, make sure that you don't let those low abs go. And again, exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. One more each leg. Exhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, exhale, inhale. I'm gonna go rest that forehead down on your hands. Let everything relax. And then engage those legs again so those knees are lifting off the floor if possible. Your butt is squeezing, those feet are pointed, and keeping the forehead on the hands, we lift the upper body up as high as you can go. Inhale, and then exhale down. And lift, and lower. And lift, and lower. And lift, and lower. Keeping that forehead down, lifting just the legs. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Make sure those abs are still turned on. And exhale. Coming back in the upper body, lifting up. And down. And inhale. And exhale. Try to lift your low abs off the ground. And up. And down, coming into the legs, we lift and lower and lift and lower, lift and lower and lift and lower. Stretch those arms out in front of us, lifting everything off the floor. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, hold, and lift the belly off the mat. Stretching behind the knees and behind the elbows, and then coming into some swimmers. Flutter those arms and legs nice and quick, still breathing. Check in with your neck. Is it long? Are your shoulders pressing down the back? Push those fingers and toes away from each other. Push behind the elbows and behind the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And relax on your exhale. Get everything nice and loose. Good. Place those hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, stretch the legs, and lift one piece to plank pose. Good. Rocking our shoulders forwards and back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Lower those knees down and then just rocking over again on to our hips. Okay, so coming into a little teaser here. So finding that balance on our hips, just grabbing under the thighs, lifting the legs up and hold it here. If you're ready, you can let those arms go. And then we'll take them up, reaching them away from the shoulders. 
Good. So coming into a toe tap here, just lower one leg and lift it up. Other side, lower and lift. Lower and lift and lower and lift. Good. Hold it there. You can stay with the bent legs or go ahead and stretch the legs to the sky. And lowering one leg and lifting. We're trying not to lean back in the upper body as we do this. Lower and lift and lower and lift. Good. Stay here. Now we're going to try to keep our legs nice and strong as we lower our upper body back. And then coming in back to our teaser. Lowering the upper body down, keeping the legs as high as we can, and lifting back up. And again, down and up. One more. Down and up. Gonna bend those legs in, grab around the knees or shins, find some length out of the spine. And then open those legs up to butterfly. Again, lift up out of the waist. And then exhale, gently fold over. And breathing. Good. and then rolling back up, we're going to come into that same sequence. So when we are feeling it in our hip flexors, which I was, tells me that I'm not using my abs enough. So second round, really engage those abs, or I need to really engage those abs. Good. Lifting it up, let those arms go, and then lowering one leg down, and up, and down. And up, down, and up, and down, and up. Okay, stay where you are, legs to the sky, and arms lifting, one leg down, and up, and inhale. Exhale, belly button to spine, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, dropping that upper body back, down. And lift. And lower. And lift. Two more. Down. And up. Last one. Down. And up. Good. Bending those legs in. Wrap it around. Find the length out of the waist. And then drop those feet open to butterfly, straightening out the spine. Hinge it forward first. And then you can find some curve in the back. Trying to reach our forehead away from the feet. And if your forehead's touching the ground, moving it touching in front of the toes, or even further. Good, inhale here. And then exhale, rolling up. And then we're gonna rotate onto hands and knees here onto our forearms. Okay, so taking one leg back, and we're gonna take it straight out to the side and line with our hip. And then lifting that leg up for one, down, and two. So keep that upper body nice and strong. Try not to let the chest drop between the shoulders. And six. And seven and eight. Go ahead and flex the foot eight more. Lift and lower. Two, 
and three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. I'm going to point the foot, lift it up, and we're just taking it back and then to the side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep those abs nice and strong. Exhale. Four more. Back. And side. And back. And side. Back. And side. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Take it down. Bend the knee in. Coming up onto our hands. And then keeping the bend in the knee as we lift the leg up. One. And two. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Five. And six. And seven and eight. Okay, now taking that leg back, trying to line the knee up with the hip, pointing those toes and just lifting a little higher. Two, three. Really see if you cannot arch that back. Six, seven, eight, eight more, nine, ten. Squeeze that tummy in. Twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, flex the foot, lift, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, finishing 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Good. Take those knees wide. Rock it back into child's pose. And then we're going to make our way to the other side. You can stay where you are. So finding our forearms on the mat, strong through the chest, taking our leg back and then straight out from that hip. And here we go, lifting up and down. And three, four, tummy strong, five, and six, seven, and eight. Flexing the foot, eight more, one, and two, three, and four. Lift those shoulders up out of the chest side, or opposite chest up out of the shoulders, six, and seven, and eight. Good, lift it up, point the toe, then we bring it back, and side, and back, and side. Scoop that belly in. Three, and four. And five, and six, seven, and eight. Good, let that leg go down. We're going to bend it in and come up onto our hands and then lifting it up with the pointed foot. Lift and lower. Lift. Lower, tummy strong, up and down, up and down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, up and down, and up and down. Good, taking our leg back behind us, trying to line up the knee with the hip, strong through the arms, lifting for one, two, 
Or don't let that back arch when you lift the leg. Six. Just isolate that leg movement. Only that leg moving. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Flex the foot and lift. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, and 16. Good. Again, take those knees wide and rest it down. Good. And then just coming on to our stomachs here. And again, rest your forehead and your hands. And just lifting one leg off the floor first. Engage those abs. One leg long. Up and down. Two. And three. Four. And keep that leg straight. Six. Seven. And eight, flex the foot. So point those toes down to the ground. Two, three, and four. Trying to lift the tummy off of the mat like there's an ice cube under your belly button. Seven, and eight. Okay, bending the leg with the pointed foot, lifting up and down. Two, really engage those abs so you don't use your back muscles. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, and then flex the foot and lift. Two, three, four. Also relax those shoulders down the back. Six, seven, and eight, and then just opening that knee out to the side of your mat and the points foot again. Again, lifting up and down. Two. Three, four, keep that tummy nice and strong. Five, six, seven, and eight. Flex the foot and lift. Two, three, four, tummy in. Five, six, seven, and eight. Relax it down. Shake the hips out. We're going to take a pit stop in between in a plank pose. So press up to your plank. Take the hands wide. Coming into four wide elbow push-ups. Here we go. And two. And three. And four. Good. Lower gently to the ground. And then coming in. Straight to the other leg, starting with our straight leg, lifting up and down. Lift those abs off the mat. Three. So let the leg bend. And five, six, seven, eight. Flex the toes, toes tapping the floor every time to the back of our heels, lifting to the sky. Four. And five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Bend the leg, point the toe, and lift and lower. Two. Make sure that leg is parallel because we'll open the hip up after this. You really want to feel the difference between those two. Six, seven, eight. Flex bottom of the foot to the sky. Tummy in three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Open the knee, point the toe, lift. And two, engage those abs. Three, four, just we lose using that glute muscle to lift the leg, not the back. Seven and eight, and flex and lift. Two. Three, 
and four, almost there, and six, seven, and eight. Relax the front, shake the hips out, and again, lifting up into plank pose, taking the hands wide, coming into four wide elbows. And we go down, inhale, exhale up. Two, and three, and four. Good. Take the hands under the shoulders, press the hips to downward facing dog. Really lift that tailbone to the sky. And then take a moment to press one heel down and then the other. Walk in and out at your own pace. Good. Stretch one leg to the sky as high as it can go. Open that hip up. Go ahead and bend the leg and shake it out. And then bring that knee into our nose, lifting the back of the Chest as high as it can go, and then stepping that foot through to a lunge. Good, staying up, lifting that knee with the back of the knee to the sky so our back leg is really straight and strong. Good, and then straighten out both legs. Legs are going to be really wide apart. That back heel will be reaching for the floor, but it probably won't touch. Nice deep breaths. And then coming back into our lunge, let that back knee gently lower to the ground. And then place the hands on the knee to lift that chest, lift those lower abs off of the floor. And then lift those arms to the sky right next to the ears. See if you can press those shoulder blades down your back and straighten the arms a little bit more. Go ahead and lower the hands down and then cross that foot over, coming into pigeon pose to stretch out our hips. So the closer this foot is back in towards you, the more ease you'll have in your hips. So just go where you want to go. Whenever it feels like you're getting a nice stretch, you want to stay sitting up tall or bend forward. We'll be here for five breaths. Two more breaths. Good, and unwind yourself. Stepping back into plank pose. Coming into four tricep push-ups here, elbows grazing the wrists, inhale down, exhale lift. Two, and three, and four. Good, and let those hips lift to downward dog. Really stretch that tailbone to the sky, and then lifting the other leg up as high as it can go, letting the hip open, and then bend the knee, shake it out, and then curling that knee in towards the nose, lift the back of the chest to the ceiling, and then stepping through. Good, in our lunge, stretching the back of the knee to the sky. Trying to length out from the top of the head, that back heel. And then coming into our straight leg stretch, just lift the hips, keeping the feet right where they are. Back heel reaching for the floor.
Still in our Pilates breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through an open mouth. Good, and then coming into a lunge with that back knee on the ground. Feeling those hips pressing into the floor. Find length in the spine and the neck. Lifting the top of the head up to the sky as we shift our hands to our knee. Lift those low abs off of the thigh. And then adding the arms. Take them right there, right by your ears. Maybe stretching those elbows a little bit more. Good. Inhale. Exhale, gently lower the hands down and then coming into pigeon pose, start to stretch. Work wherever feels good for you. We want to try to keep both hips facing down towards the mat and that back heel towards the sky. So get comfortable and we'll be here for about five breaths. Two more breaths. Good, coming out, and again, coming into plank, or tricep push-ups, here we go, inhale, and exhale, down, and up, three, and four, good, lifting the hips to the sky again. And then we're going to walk the hands into the feet, dangling over the legs. Deep inhale. As you exhale, scoop the belly into the spine. And we're rolling up to standing. Stacking one vertebrae on top of another. Finishing with our neck and our head. Good. So glue those feet together. Hands on the waist coming into some calf raises. So we go up and down. Two. So while we're doing this, remember to keep that belly button pressing into the spine. All that stuff that we were working at lying on the ground. Seven. And eight. Eight more. Nine. And 10, 11, 12, scoop the belly in, 13, and 14, 15, and 16. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, rolling down. Walking it out to plank pose. Taking one or two tricep push-ups. You can always skip them, walking the hands in towards the feet, and then exhale, rolling up. We gotta find that good posture and calf raises up and down. Engage that belly button. Three, make sure those legs are nice and straight. Five and six, seven. Eight, eight more, nine, and 10, 11, and 12, coming in, 13, and 14, 15, and 16. Inhale, lift those arms. Exhale, roll it down. Walk it out to plank pose. One or two push ups. And then we'll stop and downward facing dog to stretch out our calves. Stretch out 
stretch out those calves, walk it out. Good, maybe bend the legs, and we'll walk the hands in. Finishing up, deep inhale, exhale, rolling it up to finish. Deep breath in, deep breath out. 